No two days are ever the same at the Dignity Centre in Cyprus. Um, at the Dignity Centre we start at 9.30 and we have a morning meeting and we discuss where we're going to be. The basement houses a recreation space and is where the showers and laundry room can be used. So expect to be a games maker one minute and a facilities manager the next. The sewing space is always a hive of activity. It houses a women's cooperative where women make clothes and fashion items for sale. I really enjoy working with the women in the women's space. It's a really productive space and the women who come here are so enthusiastic to be working here and being able to learn new skills and learn how to use a sewing machine, learn how to crochet. Yeah, I'm very eager to learn and feel very empowered by the space. Everyone spends time manning the reception, where people come to find out about the facilities that are available, about upcoming classes and for help with problems. Volunteers get out and about too. We often have to make trips to our storage containers to load up with all the things we need to keep the Dignity Centre running. And we work a lot with other organisations. We regularly prepare breakfasts for up to 100 people with Caritas, a relief organisation here in Cyprus. And twice a month, the Let's Eat event sees us join forces with the British Army. The Catering Corps cooks the food, and we make sure that everything works with military precision. And everyone has a good time. Who knows, you might even learn a few things yourself, like picking up a few words of Arabic. Or you could be called upon to release your inner Andrew Lloyd Webber and throw together a theatrical production. There's no typical day <laughs> as a volunteer here because you are moving around all the different spaces. Uh, one day you're working with the kids making hand puppets or trying to help them to paint. <laughs> um, and then the next you're I don't know, in a sewing room, helping people to um, work out patterns. But yeah, you have to be prepared to do whatever needs doing and to move around at a moment's notice. If someone needs help somewhere else, then you can just go and... A lot of people spend a lot of their time here. And they really value, I think, the sense of community here. Sara told me Sara left yesterday. And so a few people have said how much it means to them just to know that people are there for them that actually care. I always just thought, well, what's, what can I do? I can't give that much money, but I have time. Um, and so it's nice just to sort of reach out and feel like you're connecting to some people. I would definitely 100% recommend volunteering to anyone. And I'd say, number one, what you're doing while you're volunteering is what's really good about the experience. You're actually um, providing aid to people in a really nice, dignified way and that aid that you're providing is really helping people. <laughs> and then number two, you also get to meet lots of lovely volunteers and be part of an awesome organisation. You don't need any qualifications or special talents to be a volunteer, just a can-do attitude, bags of energy and enthusiasm, and a real desire to deliver refugee supports aid with dignity approach. So, if you can spare a week or two, or perhaps longer, then please get in touch. For more details, go to refugeesupport.eu and check out the Get Involved page. Refugee Support. Aid with Dignity.